New Zealand is most well known wildlife wise from its birds, and they're indeed worth appreciating and amazing to learn about, with so many groups being found nowhere else. This does however track to other, less immediately impressive animals though, and that includes insects. Animals like the giant wetter, many species of spiders, flies, and bees, are all astounding in their own right, one of these particular animals being the minute grasshopper. Now, why exactly am I dedicating a whole video to these little guys? Well, for one, they are indeed very interesting, and two, coming up is the second annual New Zealand Bug of the Year competition. To give a quick rundown, 20 bugs are nominated and or selected for the competition, with up to three choices when it comes to voting being allowed. With this video, I am to best promote the competition so more of you guys get a chance to learn about these fascinating little fellows, and also to advocate the votes for my top choice this time around, being the Minute Grasshopper, and you can also select another two of your choosing too. So, with that intro out of the way, it's as good a time as any for me to start covering New Zealand's wonderful insect life, and down the line, I'll absolutely be covering more where possible. As the name suggests, minute grasshoppers are the smallest of New Zealand's shorthorn grasshoppers, with them in their group being endemic to New Zealand. The males are much smaller than the females, with the females being about 1.6cm long, while the males are two thirds their size. As with other New Zealand grasshoppers, minute grasshoppers are diurnal herbivores, not just preferring, but requiring open ground so that they can bask. They are also flightless, and while they do have wings, they are only about 1mm long, so they of course, wouldn't be able to use them. In addition to being very tiny, they also boast a widely variable appearance, with them having a range of colours and patterns that help them match the rocks and various plants like lichens in their environment, which makes monitoring them and their numbers very difficult. They are only found in the Mackenzie district of the South Island, which is among the driest and most sparse areas of the country, being right on the doorstep of the Southern Alps, the large mountain range that runs through the island. Unfortunately for them, their population is in decline as of the latest specialised threat assessments made in 2010, which is down to them being easily predated upon by introduced mammals, namely hedgehogs. Though their amazing camouflage serves them well in protecting them from native birds and lizards, which hunts primarily by size, alongside the habit of freezing when threatened, this, unfortunately, does very little regarding introduced mammals, which instead prefer to sniff their prey out, and so they make very easy meals. Native grasshopper remains are quite prevalent prey items for cats in the years where the main prey of rabbits experience population crashes due to poisoning, and so some populations can have 50% of their gut contents containing invertebrates, including the grasshoppers, which does suggest a switch to smaller and more accessible prey when times are tough. These little grasshoppers have also lost a lot of their original habitats, with the majority of them now living on small isolated patches of privately owned farmland, where land management practices are critical to prevent local extinctions. It has been found that them and the group they belong to cannot tolerate insecticides or herbicides, and are also very sensitive to heavy metals and fertilisers in the soil. Where effective predator control has been undertaken, long-term trends have shown that with increased intensities of trapping, populations are able to recover and increase by 10% each year, Whereas, in areas where little to no control was undertaken, populations, on the other hand, declined 13% year on year, which shows just how quickly these animals could go extinct if we weren't helping them out. All in all, I thank you for watching this video on these animals, and that you may have learned something new. If you would like to see more from this channel, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And with that, I'll see you next time, whenever that may be.